going on, Collective? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Empress Gem, here to drop a pause and sip for today, Friday the 13th in November 2020. Like I did that day, of course you did. General message, guys. Take what's for you, leave the rest behind. If you've been here all week, then you know what's going on with these pause and sips. Guys, love readings will be out tomorrow, starting at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Starting with Scorpio every five minutes. I will drop another Zodiac until all 12 of you guys are out by 12 o'clock, okay? So, guys, Spirit said that is enough. Thank you. Pretty much um, the tower. I got a tower moment um, underneath in the pre-shuffle. We got Ace of Rise, which is a new beginning. We got the Hangman. Somebody is making some serious sacrifices because there's a new passionate beginning that has a beautiful-ass castle at the end of the day, Okay. Beautiful horizon, um, just something that's going to make somebody very, very happy. Something that's very fertile, very, is going to produce a lot of fruit, okay? Um, so that's, yeah, that's just the biggest thing that I picked up. Um, the, I, the tower, the tower, somebody has to face their devil. Okay, yeah, first card out, guys. Death, it's over. Something is over, okay? Scorpio energy. Something is definitely over. Whew. Don't go in there, Batman. It's the Joker. Okay. Um, definitely. And we're getting ready to go into a new moon in Scorpio. Okay. So you know how the energy work is three days before, three, at, three days after. So yes, we are sitting in that energy right now. Okay. New moon in Scorpio. But something is definitely over here. Okay. All that shit or whatever. Somebody has finally made a decision on what they're going to do, okay? Yeah, five of potions because they're tired. They're tired of dealing with the sorrow. They're tired of all the regret. You know, they're tired of leaving behind what matters to them, what is really bringing them joy. Tired of giving their time and energy to someone who is manipulating and who is taking someone who is taking them for granted here, okay? Yeah, you're very stable right now, okay? Um, you could be married here or a mother. But either way, you got your shit together. You you could be a business owner here as well. You're a very good cook. You like pastries or you could be a pastry chef. Um, but you, you just reached a point where you're wise beyond. Like, you're wise. Or whoever this person is, they have, like, salt and pepper and they're here pretty good. But they're wise. They're just wise and understand that, you know, I'm done. They, somebody has woken up. And they smell the coffee, okay? Somebody smells the coffee, Folgers, okay? And realize that I, I don't need to deal with this anymore. I'm done dealing with this. It's making me thin. I'm getting depressed. Like, it's trying to pull me down. I cannot, 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 cannot. I want to be this jolly-ass round woman again, okay? See how that outfit is fitting, huh? Baby got back looking like a whole coarse meal. Folks are just looking like a snack. Tired of being tired, tired of being ran down, worn down, keeping putting your efforts in. You just don't want to deal with it anymore. So it's over, okay? Yeah, and this is what's supposed to happen, okay? This is that karma, you know, from yesterday that was in reverse, okay? It's up right now. And the advice is just roll with it. Like, this is destiny, okay? The will is changing in your favor. You letting this go is the best thing that happened since sliced bread for you. Okay, and your outcome is healing the star, zero, loyalty, honesty, trust, being able to shine your light and follow exactly where it is your heart desire and, and zero's nose, his nose. And we know that the best way, the closest way to get to a man's heart is through his stomach. Dogs find food through their nose. Mm. Guiding, you get where I'm going? All that love, nurturing, pastry, bacon, getting fat obese feeling good okay getting wealthy off of just life all right yeah because somebody is definitely being left out in the cold okay you're realizing something was more than a lack okay and somebody was definitely taking your time energy money emotions everything just manipulating and now you have a new inspiration here okay something that really you know sparks and brings joy to you so now you know you got to just let go of the past you have to let go whatever this is job person place thing doesn't matter but you know that you just have to let it go because you have something way better ahead for yourself, especially in this age of Aquarius. And the star card represents Aquarius, right? Okay. Cars is talking. So, yeah, this is about juggling or being in balance, trying to find balance in your life right now, okay? 
Yeah, you are no longer stuck trying to make any more blind decisions about any type of offer that was trying to come into you. Um, again, at Page of Cups from yesterday. No, yeah, you, you understand and realize that, yes, this person is emotionally manipulative, really trying to be a burden. They refuse to let the burdens go. So I'm going to let these burdens go. I'm going to drop these burdens. I don't want to do anything with you. And that's the truth of the matter. I don't want to take anything that you have to offer because, again, you're unstable. OK, could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, not saying. But at the end of the day, this person is unstable and they're broke. I'm still getting this broke ass energy. OK, mentally, emotionally, financially, like they're just broke. OK. Yes, you are now happy, collective. You are happy, and somebody sees that you're happy, okay? They were so busy trying to dim your light that they were bringing so much attention to you, and it was making other people notice how you were doing, okay? And people are were starting to notice that, oh my gosh, like, collective, you're very innocent. This isn't you. This is this person. That's why they're looking all old and ragged and tired from constantly trying to dim your shine. While they were busy up here trying to dim your shine, they were really... Glow, making you glow, okay? And you were just sitting here in your youthful self, enjoying your life, doing what you need to do, okay? You made a decision to go after the world. This person made a decision to be stuck on you, okay? And the results of being stuck on you and shining so much light on you that it got other people to look at you and to see how bright and sunny you are, to see how abundant you are, okay? I feel like you're no longer at a crossroads when it comes to dealing with the situation and you're just laying it to rest now. You're completely done and over it. It's like, you're just like, yo, you still haven't learned. Like, you still haven't got enough. It hasn't been enough for you. Like, people see who you really are. And you're still trying to pull me down. Like, I'm done. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to smoke with you. I don't want to skate with you. I don't want to kick it. Nothing. You're, you're tired. It's like, a lot of you just you wonder, like, why did I even put my energy into this? Yeah, ten of swords, upright. Like, you're just tired. Like, why did I even put my energy into this? Like, this person has been lying this whole time. Like, and I knew, yeah, like, I feel like you knew. Like, it was a mind game. And some of you were kind of, like, playing it just a little bit or tr not believing that you were playing in it because you didn't want to feel that this person would do this to you. But you're now seeing the truth that they were. Yeah, like I said, you're done playing this mind game. You don't want to play. It's, it's, it's not fun anymore. There's no victory in this for anyone, okay? Like, especially for you. Like, and I feel like you don't even want half the attention that you're getting, but this person keeps shining this light on you so brightly that unfortunately you're getting the attention. <laughs> yeah, see, you're focused. You're sitting in your stability. You're not trying to go back and reconnect with anyone, especially anyone of the past here, okay? Definitely just trying to move forward here and stand your guard. And I respect that. And that is exactly the advice that I would give you. Keep baking your cakes. Keep being focused. Pay attention because, like I said, both of these energies are looking in the same direction. They're still looking and wondering if that person, like I, I just seen like the scene from the horror movies, when they go and kill the person or like the killer and they wonder why they keep coming back. Cycles don't die, okay? That's <laughs> Cycles don't die. That's going to your um, description box. <laughs> Or that's probably how I'm going to tweet it. Like, cycles don't die, okay? But whatever it is, you're going to have to turn your back. They're going to keep coming in. And I feel like eventually they might break down and tell you, like, look, I need money for the family. Or I need money to do this or whatever, whatever. And honestly, that's not your problem. That is not your problem at all. Because, like I said, this person, Queen of Pentacles, they had the chance. I feel like they worked. They had the chance to have their shit together. But they chose. They weren't wise with their money, okay? Very unstable. And this is how they end up in this situation. Nothing to do with you. You got to let this go. Like I said, you don't even want to go back and reconnect with this person, okay? Right now, just let this will change and turn in your favor. That's what spirit is saying, okay? Yeah. If you don't want to be left out in the cold, you need to let this do what it's doing, okay? Because if you fuck with what's going on, if you go back, you give into to this person, you let them give you this woe is me story, your ass is going to be left out in the cold. So you have to ignore the situation. As painful as it might sound or it might be, you're going to have to. Yes, you're going to have to nurture and love yourself here. I do. Okay. 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 Because that would have been like this. So I am picking up here where there's a lot of people. Okay. I got some kids. I got a mom out here. I got a couple moms out here. One mom is a lot more prestigious than the other. And then I feel like I got a man who... This could be like the same man, or it could just be two men. It could be like people speaking up and standing up for this empress, 
or it could be somebody who's vouching. This also could be a cop, could be a lawyer, could be a judge who's vouching for this empress here. Okay, this, because look, let me show y'all what I got going on here. Okay, so you got somebody who up here catcalling, okay? I feel like it could be this Queen of Cups catcalling. But there's this empress who sees what the hell's going on here. Okay, with this being Libra and this being air energy, this definitely could also just be this empress. Like, you know what? Let me get my masculine back and just cuss this bitch out. It could be something like that. But... I'm also seeing here where there could be someone who has a fire sign child, possibly Aries, Leo, Sag, child or whatever. And you have like this mother who was not being a great mother. The kid could be trying to reach out and call over to the father, possibly even to, I don't know. This could be a stepmom. I feel like dad is now with the empress here because this queen of cups has just completely like lost it and is like whatever, not taking care and doing what she's supposed to be doing. Okay. Um, and I feel that, you know, this could honestly be like a court case or a custody hearing where the judge is awarding the father and his new wife or new girlfriend, the child. I feel like the child is making this call out, could be making this call or, you know, could be taking the stand or testifying or saying where they want to go or whatever, communicating, writing sending in a letter or petitioning to the court of where they want to go. It's like mommy is, uh, she drinks all the time. I don't know what the hell is up with her. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. That is like the energy that I'm picking up within that. So yeah, definitely if you're going into court here in regards to um, custody and child support, if you're the man, it's going to go in your favor. Okay. Because the mother is really, she's not together. If Queen of Pentacles, she's not together. Okay, and she's probably coming. She probably waited too far long, you know, in need of something. Um, yeah, could need to travel. That could be an eviction right there, okay? Somebody could be coming to serve the eviction. It's like trying to back on the door. Oh, I want to come back. But he's like, no, I done moved on. I got an empress now. Like, this also could be this man, you know. Like, no, I got an empress now. You can come and call all you want, but you'll never be the empress. Either way, whatever it is, um, something is going in your favor, okay? Definitely. Or whatever, like I said, yesterday was the all rise, something with the justice system. This is it definitely going in your favor. Remember that things are going in your favor here, so you don't need to respond, okay? You don't need to respond to what's coming into you. And I do feel like somebody is trying to call out. So here with the star card, closing it out, guys. Yeah, you're healing. Don't go back to the past, to what you've already closed out. Release it with that Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, don't go back, okay? This is you thinking about wanting to walk towards it. Don't, don't walk towards that, okay? It's going to mess up your fate, okay? You need to release and don't turn back because your ships are here. They're here. If you go back, you're going to honestly cause yourself everything that it is that you've desired and that you have earned. So... Yeah, you're going to be out of lack if you go back. Five of Pentacles and that Eight of Cups in reverse. So actually, yes or no? Let's get it, guys. And happy Friday the 13th. Okay. All right, Spirit says. So, you guys. Your fortune for today, which are yes or no. You are going to be happier than you dared to hope. Number 66 and the number three. You owe someone a letter, write it once. Again, picking up the number six, the number seven and 11 again. And you have a mind of your own, so use it. The answer to your question is yes, number 26 and the number 21. Again, seeing that three. And you worry over small matters, honey. Let it go. Don't. Things are turning in your fate. So yeah, guys, that has been your message. Happy Friday the 13th. Set those intentions. Do your spirit baths, you know. New cycle, new moon, Scorpio at that, transformation and change. So until the next time we speak, stay tuned for those love readings tomorrow. Oh, and the weekend vibe. Peace out.